Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at some of the debugging features of Safari. So if you develop web pages, you may or may not know that all browsers have some way to debug JavaScript. Let's take a look at how Safari does it. So here's a very simple little web page, and in it is a very simple little script. Basically sets a variable to 5, checks to see if the variable is 5, and issues an alert. But if I run it here by simply refreshing the page, I don't get the alert. And that's of course because these two variables are different. This one has a capital V, this one has a lowercase v. It's a very common mistake for a programmer to make. So how can you discover that in Safari? You see now I don't get any feedback at all. So the first thing you need to do is you need to turn on the developer tools. And you can do that by going to Preferences and then click in Advanced Show Develop Menu in Menu Bar and you can see it appears there. Now that I have this Develop Menu I can go to it and select Show Error Console. And now when I refresh the page here I can see I do get an error message down here. Can't find the variable and it lists it and tells me what line it's on. And using that information I can usually then go and deduce what the problem is and fix it. And now when I refresh I instead get the proper response and no errors there. Now in addition to error messages you can also put your own messages to the output window here. You can use the command console.log and put any string in it. So if I were to run this I can see it's output my string here. It tells me even what line it comes from. So I can actually output some of my own variable names and uh, positions that it is in the code here so I can follow along with my code and debug. Here's an even more complex example. It's going to output the numbers 0 through 9 uh, and if I run it you can see it actually outputs them all here. Here's a slightly more complex example. It's going to actually add up each of the numbers from 0 to 9 and output the total. So I run that and I get the same result plus the 45 there at the bottom. Now I'm using this example to show how you can use the debugger. If I use scripts here rather than console at the top of the develop area I can enable debugging. Now when I refresh the page in the scripts area I'll actually see the script and I'll be able to put in a breakpoint by clicking here on the left. And now when I run it I can actually step through each one of these loops here and I can even switch over to the console if I want and see its progress here. Of course I would see any changes happening to the page itself if this were the type of script that were making changes to the page. Um, and I can even watch certain variables and watch expressions, do all sorts of different things. Uh, so there's a lot you can do here by debugging inside of Safari. You can also use the console here to issue your own commands. So for instance you can issue and actually get a result for something that you type in. You can even make changes to elements on the HTML page by using commands here in the console. So and I'm just scratching the surface there. As you may have noticed there's all sorts of ways to look at the style sheets and the HTML objects for a web page there in the develop area and there are a lot of different things you can do. So if you're a developer and you haven't yet checked out Safari's development tools give them a look. Until next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.